Welcome back everybody. This is the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage. Uh, welcome back. I am now following up on the last video I made where you guys saw me. I took the advice of one of my viewers and did, I basically cut out an area uh, kind of like the way your dentist does when they're trying to fill a tooth. Now it's interesting. I told all of you that over here, this one layer of new veneer, it is slightly recessed into the table. If I if I add another layer, it will actually be a little too tall in, in some areas. In other words, it would not be flush or square. And uh, the only way to solve that would be to glue that down, and then I would need to sand it. And now, I'm, you know, if I sand, I'm gonna be removing, this is a veneer itself, so I need to be careful. And I decided I didn't wanna do that. So what I'll be doing uh, next video, I'll take one of those filler, uh, uh, filler crayon things, and fill in the gaps here, and then I will be uh, varnishing it. We'll see how it turns out. I'm Overall, I'm happy. Ironically, this piece is flush, so I don't know if the, the base wood had had some uneven to, unevenness to it, that's what I suspect. So, uh, I don't think you guys got to see on video me putting the cherry stain uh, on this piece, and again, I know it looks a little different than the surrounding veneers, but remember, I have yet to once the stain dries, I'm going to be putting on uh, a few coats of the shellac, and I think that's going to darken it. And uh, I will also be doing a test on my, where did it go, wherever I put it, my original piece. Uh, the, this was the first piece I tested the color on. I'll do that, uh, uh, one of the next videos, I'll be putting um, uh, shellac on there to see. And if I don't like the color, I can always go and add a little bit of the walnut to get a little bit of the red. That's pretty close though. I know it doesn't look like it at the moment, but I thought I would share with you all I'm gonna, how I'm gonna stain this piece. I haven't put anything on it. And again, as I mentioned before, anytime you're working with a stain, you've got to stir it on a regular basis because the color will settle to the bottom and you'll end up with something uh, unlike what you were expecting. Uh, applying stain to wood and getting it to be even is a bit of a, it's an old art form that some of your paint contractors still understand. And I'm using, for the purposes, a little artist brush, right? Don't want to load the brush, just, uh, and you'll notice now, I'm going to come here and just, I'm just applying stain. I don't want it to pool. I don't want it to run everywhere. And already, you can see what a difference it made. Uh, again, it's going to look a little different. The color's not exact. Um, restore finish, you know, I have a walnut version of it, but it's not really a stain. It's designed to be wiped on and then taken off. So what I may do uh, is simply, let's see, I think I'll go with one more uh, little layer of this stain, and then I'm just going to kind of leave that. And at different angles, it'll look different, uh, slightly different. So yes, you can see it at the moment, but again, it doesn't have the layer of shellac on it yet. And once all of this has been this is going to have to dry overnight, both of these pieces. Then I'm going to put the shellac on, and when that's dry, I'll come back with the restore finish. Um, although before I do that, I need to put in my little uh, filler crayons, and we'll see how it turns out. I think uh, overall I'm, I'm pleased. It's certainly a lot better than it was, and whether it's worth the effort, I don't know. But hey, this it's got a gorgeous 201 inside, and whoever buys it, would you know, they're going to want to show this table in their homes. And... Uh, you want to conserve the table enough to make it presentable. So anyway, thanks for hanging in there, guys. I decided to do this little section on veneering uh, in really small videos because it could, get, uh, it could get very long, and I thought I would do it that way. That way you guys can just tune in to whichever uh, of the videos you like. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video where I hope to get this project uh, finished up.